Hey you guys, welcome back to Pretty Girl Practice. In this video, I'll be talking about what pre-med should major in. I know it's August, school's about to start, and for me as a pre-med, finding a major was really stressful. Um, I ended up changing my major four times, so hopefully you guys find this video and my advice helpful. Stay tuned. right off the bat by debunking the myth that as a pre-med you have to major in biology or chemistry. I thought that too because um, I was like okay I'm pre-med so like I have to major in biology uh, but you can actually major in anything that you want as long as you take the required prerequisite courses. Me personally I would recommend majoring in something that you love. It makes it so much easier to study for something that you actually enjoy as opposed to like biology like if you know you hate biology like don't major in that um, but if you major in something that you actually love and enjoy like your GPA will be better because you'll have better grades and you'll just be happier in life like I could go on so major in something that you actually love and enjoy my next important piece of advice is to major in something that you've thought about for the long term. So say you apply to medical school and you didn't get in that first application cycle. Would you be satisfied with the major that you chose and the career opportunities that are available to you? For example, if you decided to be a biology major, would you be open to maybe being a biology teacher or working in a research lab? So when you choose your major, you really want to make sure that you've thought about the long term just in case if you don't get in that first application cycle. So I did a little research for you guys. I went to AAMC's website and I found their most popular majors for the application cycle for the year 2016 to 2017. So I'm just going to break that down for you guys. And so for biology, they had over 28,000 applicants. Um, for social sciences, which includes sociology, psychology, anthropology, political science, things of that nature, um, there was about 5,500 applicants. Um, for physical sciences, which is like chemistry, physics, kinesiology, there was about 5,000 applicants. Um, for humanities, which includes like English and history, there was about 1,900 applicants. And for specialized health sciences, there was about 1,600 applicants. Um, for math and statistics, there were about 380 applicants. And for other, so for other, I wasn't really sure what exactly the majors were, but I assumed that it was like business, engineering, communication, things like that. Um, so there was about 380 applicants for the other section. So as you can see, like, over 28,000 applicants are biology, and then there's a huge drop off, like everything else is like 5,000 or less for the other majors. So biology is definitely the most popular major for pre-meds, but honestly, like say you were in one of those math and statistics, which had about 380 applicants. On your interview, like you would have a talking point. They would be like, why did you decide to major in math? Like, why did you take a different route? So it'll actually like help you to stand out a little bit if you decide to major in something not as traditional. I also wanted to include um, the required prerequisite courses to apply to medical school. They actually vary a little bit from each medical school, but for the majority, they're uh, mostly the same. So they want you to take biology one and two with lab, general chemistry one and two with lab, organic chemistry one and two with lab, physics one and two with lab um, and like some require one or two advanced biology courses um, like biochemistry or genetics or immunology. Um, you can usually choose which advanced bio electives you want to take. Um, they also require statistics and English one and two. So they require like quite a bit of sciences but you can always incorporate these sciences into your degree plan. So say if you major biology like all these classes will pretty much already be required for your biology degree. Whereas if you major in like psychology, you'll have to work like a little bit harder to incorporate these into your psychology degree plan. But it can be done, um, but it just depends on which route you wanna take. I just wanted to add a little bit to what I said about 
incorporating these classes into your degree plan. So you can always choose a minor as well in addition to your major. So say you like major in history, but you have like all of these chemistry classes. So you can actually end up getting a minor in chemistry. And so my college, they require that we had a minor anyway. So I ended up minoring in chemistry just because all these classes ended up adding up to a minor in chemistry. And I think I was one class away from getting another minor in biology, but I didn't end up taking that last course. But yeah, so you can always add minors. You can have more than one minor if you want to. Um, you have lots of options to choose from. And lastly, I just wanted to mention what I majored in. I said at the beginning of the video that I changed my major four times. So when I went to college, um, I didn't really know the different like routes for nursing and medicine. So I initially went into college as pre-nursing. But then I found out really quickly that like that's like a completely different route. So I ended up switching from pre-nursing to biology. And then I don't know, I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to major in this. So I switched my major to biochemistry. And then like I took like this class, like the intro to biochem. It was like a seminar. It was like a one hour credit class. Um, and then like I guess I looked at the degree plan and they're like, oh, you need to take calculus one and two. And I was like, oh, no. So I ended up <laughs> switching my major to psychology. Um, so I switched my major four times. I didn't end up switching to psychology until my spring semester of sophomore year. So in the, I ended up graduating on time still because like the first couple years were like all basics anyway. So it didn't set me behind. And like all the majors that I switched to were within the College of Arts and Sciences. So it wasn't like I went from arts and sciences to business or arts and sciences to engineering. So I was able to still graduate within four years. Um, and why did I choose psychology? Um, I honestly, when I switched my major to psychology, I had never even taken a psychology class before. But I found out that I didn't have to major in a science to apply to med school. So that kind of just shook up my whole world. So I like opened up my eyes to like what other things that I would actually be interested in so I took my first psychology class and I just loved it. Like I, it just, like I've never loved a subject in school before until I like took psychology classes. Like I love studying for it. Like I love like everything about it. Like I thought everything was interesting, all the theories and this is how people behave and the human behavior. Like it just made life make sense to me. So I ended up getting like all A's in like all my psychology classes. Um, so that definitely helped my GPA, which is why I was saying like, you should major in something that you love so you'll actually enjoy studying for it. Like I didn't feel like I was picking my eyeballs out when I was studying. Like I actually looked forward to going to class and having the discussions and writing like the deep thoughtful papers. Like I love psychology so much. Like. I still even read psychology books today just because like I just truly love it and I, I hope that you guys have like such a strong passion for a subject too and I hope that you decide to major in it. It just makes life so much easier um, and yeah it helped my GPA too. Like if I could go back like I wouldn't go back and like I'm glad that it took me four times to find a major because Life's not perfect, like life doesn't have like one set destination. Like sometimes you take detours and sometimes you have to take more turns to get there. But I just really feel like in the end, like you will get where you're meant to be. And so, yeah, so that's my experience with choosing my major. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. Whether you're pre-med and you're going off to college this fall and you didn't know what you should major in, or if you're pre-med already and you're thinking about switching your major, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions, and I would love to offer any advice and help out as much as I could. Okay, thank you guys. Until next time.